Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. I try to do a bigger grocery haul um, because we have a Friendsgiving coming up. We also have Thanksgiving coming up. And if I'm doing this correctly, today's Thursday. Today is a week before Thanksgiving. This video will go up on Monday though. Um, but I'm thinking I might skip grocery shopping next week because I don't think I will need to. And I don't really want to go grocery shopping in the chaos of everybody you know, surrounding Thanksgiving. So my goal was to go a little bit heavier um, and then get the stuff I needed for those other occasions. Also, we just, I just used up quite a bit of food, bringing food to an event. And yeah, so I just needed quite a bit. Um, but there was a few things that Aldi mainly was out of. So I'm either gonna have to go out early next week, like Monday, which I don't really like doing errands on Monday, but um, or tomorrow night, we're going out to meet some friends and we'll be near the grocery store. So maybe we'll stop and see if we can pick up the things that they were out of. Anyways, if you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I like sharing budget-friendly grocery hauls along with what's for dinners and vlogs and whatever day in the life stuff I feel like sharing. We do have a pretty well-stocked freezer with like meat. It's not super stocked, but we have enough meat and like frozen veggies. So I've tried to just buy stuff like that when it's on sale. Anyways, let's get into the haul. All right, I'm going to start with the essentials from Walmart. I picked up just some candy, some treats. Um, my husband just had requested some. And so I bought a variety. Um, hopefully this will last us a little while. I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're new or not, but I took some pictures while I was at the store and sent them to him. And these were the things that looked good for him. So um, anyways, got those. And then I got myself some headphones. These are super cheap. They were like $5. I am low maintenance with that. And my earbuds that came with my phone died on me while they came apart. Um, I was using them with only one of the ears <laughs> working for a very long time. Anyways, um, I only really, I don't really want the wireless ones for various reasons. And um, I really only use them if I'm sitting with my husband and like he's watching a, a sport and I just don't care about it, but I still want to be with him. I can sit with him and I'll just like watch YouTube on my computer. So I got myself just a really cheap pair of headphones. I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I'm low maintenance. Moving on to Lidl. So I picked up some corn there. This is not the corn that I normally get. And there's a few things that are not what I would normally get for us. But when I'm cooking for other people, um, for instance, I buy a lot of organic stuff, but and it's not that I don't care about other people, but if I'm making food for people who don't also care about it, then I'm not going to spend the extra money. I hope that makes sense. So if people have the same cares and concerns as I do, then I don't mind that. But so I bought a few things that I you wouldn't normally see. Um, anyway, so I bought corn. I only needed four, but the sale was six for two dollars. So I got six. They also had a sale on butter, which was two for four dollars, which is really good if you guys know. I'm sure you do. Butter has gone up so much in cost. So I got this and I also picked some up at Aldi. I'll explain that when I get, get there. But the best buy date is March, end of March. But butter also freezes really well. So I'm thinking with all of the baking and all of the things, I just spent four. I picked up some at Aldi last week and they were on sale, but they had an even better sale this week. So I'll tell you about that in a second. But got six of those. I got just a couple blocks of sharp cheddar. I got some grapes because those were on sale for I think 95 cents a pound. I got a couple things of aluminum foil. Um, Aldi has been out of it at my Aldi for the last couple of weeks. So I just picked some up. I always like to keep an extra one or two in the pantry and I didn't have any. So picked up two of those, some oranges. They were on sale for I think $2.49 for the bag. So pretty good. Some tomatoes and cucumber. And um, I'm just realizing that I never picked up the lettuce. I was gonna pick that up at, at Aldi and I didn't. And I might need it for dinner tonight. I don't know what we're having for dinner yet, but I might have to have, to have my husband stop at the store. Okay, I have a little bit of a head cold if you can't tell by my voice. So <laughs> we'll just blame that. All right, moving on to Aldi. I got some white cheddar crackers. We have been enjoying those. I got this devil's food cake for a recipe I'm going to be making that goes with these as well. And then I needed a tub of whipped topping, which I have already in my freezer. 
and I didn't buy more of because it's not something I really use very often. I bought some things just because I know I'm going to be using them coming up and I didn't want to deplete my, like what I have at home. Like I have corn, canned corn, but I didn't want to use it all. <laughs> so um, anyways, that's for a dessert I'll be making. These, well, I was looking at the cookies for these, saw these and grabbed them because they sounded good. I got two cans of evaporated milk, four cans of sweetened condensed milk, again, for recipes coming up. Some cream of mushroom soup, which is not my favorite, but I'm making green bean casserole. And Aldi was out of their French cut green beans, which is what I wanted to use. So I will be on the hunt for those. Um, some oregano and some minced onion, some bacon. Again, I'm gonna need this for a recipe or two coming up and I didn't wanna use up everything I had in the pantry. Picked up some canned chicken breast. This is not something I use very often, but I just used the one I had in my pantry um, for like a little appetizer. So I just wanted to replace that because there's a lot of like hot dips and just different fun things that you can make with it. So I just like to keep one on hand because when the need arises, I can usually whip something up. I have enough food on hand like to bring somewhere. A couple things of whip topping. Again, not the one I normally get, but um, this will work just fine for, I have to bring that to a couple places. I picked up some ricotta cheese just cause I like to keep that on hand. We've been using that in our homemade pizzas. Um, so, and obviously can use it for other dishes as well. Some French fried onions for the green bean casserole that I do not have green beans for. Some almond milk, I just got one of each. Just like to keep that on hand. Some eggs, some marshmallows just because. Um, they're often used in different dessert recipes and I don't think I have any in my pantry. So I picked them up. And Aldi, their butter went on sale even more this week and it was $1.99. So I picked up three of those. It was actually a cent cheaper at Aldi than Lidl. Um, but Lidl had a six six limit and I'd gotten all the, the salted. So I was like, well, I don't use unsalted as much. I'm not worried about it. So when I went to Aldi and saw that they were $1.99, I was like, we're gonna get three things of that. Picked up some string cheese for lunches and snacks and whatnot. A couple blocks of a mozzarella, four blocks of cream cheese. I picked up two things of vanilla ice cream. This will be at least one of them I need to bring somewhere. And I'm not positive on the other one. Um, some sandwich bags. I picked up these last week and I decided I wanted three more of them. So they're only $3.99 each, which isn't too bad. Not something I would normally buy, but I treated myself and they are on a timer, which is great. So you don't have to like reach in and turn them on. And we bought rechargeable batteries earlier this year. So, um, I don't mind using things that are battery operated as much because I can just recharge them. Anyways, you didn't need that explanation. I picked up some of this frozen chicken breast. These are just very handy to have on hand. I picked up some sausage. My husband wanted some of this. I will divide these up. I already have a single one in the freezer and then I'll divide and then I'll freeze them in twos um and he just likes to gr grill those sometimes on the weekend and i've been waiting for them to go on sale at Lidl, but they have not had them in a long time on sale so i just picked a package up today and then some chicken wings which we've never actually made chicken wings at home i don't think but i was texting my husband while i was in the store and we decided to go for it these were 30 percent off so pretty good price they actually had other packages that were two dollars off and it was a better deal for the 30 percent off and I'm not sure why some were that way because they had the same expiration date and everything. So I don't know, but we thought that'd be a fun little thing to do on the weekend. It's a little more than I kind of wanted to spend, but I'm like, hey, for under 10 bucks, if that like feeds us on the weekend, it's for sure cheaper, not on the whole weekend, but like feeds us for a meal that's cheaper than going out to eat somewhere. And because I didn't have room on my kitchen counter, <laughs> I have these still out by my front door, but I picked these up from Lidl. Um, we didn't really need them yet, but I love when they have these family size packs. I think the toilet paper is $19.99 and the, the paper towels are $15.99. So um, I just get them when I see the family size packs. I thought I'd share these with you as well. Um, I went to Ross, Ross's because I had a store credit because I bought a dress for an event um, that I ended up not going to. And so... I returned the dress and it was it had the tags and the receipt and everything, but it was past their cash refund time frame. So they gave me store credit and I don't really shop at Ross very often. So I've been saving it and I treated myself to a couple blankets. I figured it's not something I would normally buy, 
but it's better because than the dress because I wasn't going to use the dress, but I was, I am going to use these. So I wanted some new throws because we have some, we have some nice ones, but some are kind of getting old and ratty and thin. And we actually do use these. <laughs> Plus, I like to have some to put in like our guest bedroom. So not that we have any guests coming that we know of. Anyways, I thought this one was pretty. It's got Merry Christmas kind of imprinted in it with some holly berry and leaves. And then I love this like piney color. And they were $9.99 each. I only had, ended up spending like 2 or $3 extra because I had like $19 in, in cash or whatever, or in the store credit. So I got those today as well. All right, guys, it's a couple days later. I did go back out and got a couple more things. I got the green beans at, at Aldi that I had wanted to get. They were back stocked up. I did get a couple more butters, um, salted and unsalted, because they were still on sale. I'm trying to stock up because it's so cheap, and I know butter freeze as well, but I'm also trying to be reasonable with, like, the size of our household. But, I mean, we're not going to stop using butter. Um, I got another dozen eggs just for the heck of it. Got a couple of uh, pizza dough. I wanted to get these when I was in the other day, but they were out. I just, we'll put these in the freezer, um, but we really love these. And this next week with Thanksgiving, some of our days will probably be kind of winging it. My husband will be home more days, so I'm thinking pizza will probably happen. I got just a couple of bananas, some Monterey Jack cheese. They were out of that when I had gone. And then I went to Walmart um, because we're going to have those wings tonight for dinner. And my husband wanted good blue cheese dressing or yeah. He didn't, he doesn't normally have this on like, um, oh my goodness, on salads, but he did want this for the wings. So, uh, and then I picked up the lettuce I forgot to complete the salad fixings. So that is the end of the grocery haul, getting ready for Thanksgiving. I wish I could have done it all in one day, but what are you going to do? They were out of stuff. Our meal plan is going to be the wings uh, with salad and probably I'm thinking some kind of soup that will give us leftovers. And that will take us to Thanksgiving. And then probably that weekend we'll end up doing like pizzas or something. We've got plenty of food. So I'm going to just kind of wing it because I know it's going to be just busy. And I'd rather not have, you know, to really worry about something super specific. But I know we've got plenty of food on hand. So that is it for today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're able to be with, even if it's just your household or friends or whatever it looks like, I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and remember to be thankful. No matter what is going on in your world, there's always, always something to be thankful for. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.